Hey, joining me is Magnus Kwashi, President-elect of the Ghana Institute of Engineers. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Uh, why is it important for you to be present at the 17th IRF World Meeting in Riyadh? Well, I, I think that the IRF sessions uh, affords uh, stakeholders, particularly let's say engineers, to keep uh, up, up to date and state of the art with the, with the practice. And so for me, I think it's very important to, to participate, not only in this, but regularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, how are you enjoying the meeting so far? Well, the, I must say that the, the sessions are quite well planned. You, you have executive sessions, you have technical sessions, you have plenaries, okay, and there's a lot to choose from the menu. And so, uh, for, till now, I think that I have enjoyed the sessions. You know, yesterday I attended the session on uh, accessibility, and I really enjoyed the, 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 the session. Excellent. Uh, what have you enjoyed the most? Well, uh, networking is good. You know, I've had the opportunity to meet people face to face. I've been on email with, with several people, but mm -hmm. it gives me, it forced me the opportunity to meet people in person, mm -hmm. you know, and to talk a bit more detail what uh, our aspirations in the future looks like. Okay. Uh, what is your message to the global road community? Well, I, I think that the, the IRF uh, conferences generally affords, uh, particularly for us engineers, the opportunity for continuous professional development. Uh, I'm from Africa and I must say that a lot may not be happening now, but for me personally, uh, I attend these meetings, I learn a lot from others, uh, from other people's research and so on. So it keeps me state of the art and also affords me the opportunity to provide uh, answers to issues back at home. Uh, hopefully, uh, we see that Africa is, is, is growing and it's going to grow, and I think that it's the right time, and uh, I would encourage particularly uh, my colleagues from, from Africa, and for that matter, developing uh, world, you know, to participate actively, because here you have people sharing the, their challenges and, and the opportunities, and I think we can bring this to bear to transform our world. How can the IRF help the African engineering world uh, deliver your message? Well, uh, uh, I think that the, there is opportunity to do that, and we need more collaboration with, with IRF. Uh, I, for, I'm from Ghana, and I'm pioneering what we call an MOU with, that, with the IRF, you know, so that we can mainstream the IRF executive programs and courses. Uh, so a lot more people can be reached and uh, not too many people have the opportunity to participate in this but I think one way IRF can, can help spread this is to look at some of these things. I, I represent the Ghana Institution of Engineers uh, and the President-elect and that's what I've undertaken to do. Okay. Uh, how have you used the face-to-face -face context made at this meeting to increase your network? Well, uh, like I did, I did say before, it's uh, it's it's put the face behind the uh, uh, in front behind the names. Now you you meet people directly at these places. You you get to really understand the, what what people are doing, you know. And sometimes even at presentations, people say things they're not clear. You get a better picture after meetings and and you have chat, and then it begins a long uh, standing relationships, you know, which can be built on to develop. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Precious man. Okay.